What's up, everybody, and welcome back for another Big Easy Bets College Basketball Play of the Day. It's Sunday, February 4th. It's been an interesting start to the year so far. Um, realistically, we should have been looking at a 6-1 and one start. We had a couple historic bad beats. I'm not going to dive into Wisconsin blowing a 15-point lead in the first time this millennium. I'm not going to do it. Um, but then yesterday started off great. We had Marquette minus 12. They win by like 40. Uh, we had UConn minus three. They win by double digits. So we started off really well. But then Houston was a horrific pick. Hand up. That was a sucker bet taking Houston going on the road into Fog Allen. They're not ready for that. Um, they just got trounced. So the score doesn't the final score doesn't indicate how that game went. So that's on me. Um, so no bad beats yesterday. I'm not going to sit there and say that. Just a couple bad plays. Um, but we always slow played in the beginning. I got to get my eyes on the teams to feel more confident and give out more volume of plays. I do feel like I'm finally getting to that point where I'm a little more familiar. We've we've transitioned from football back into college basketball. Um, only one play today, but just know that, that there is a there's some money on the horizon. I can smell it. So one play today: Wisconsin, Purdue, the biggest game. We got a first hand look at Wisconsin the other day. Obviously, I know Purdue very well. Um, Purdue's probably, you make a very strong argument, they're the best team in the country. They do have the best player in Zach Eady. Uh, but if they struggle anywhere, like most teams, it's on the road. Northwestern beat them earlier in the year. Uh, Nebraska beat them earlier in the year. They just went 68-60 to toe-to-toe with Rutgers on the road. Um, Northwestern clearly has their number because they nearly beat them again on their home court. Um had a shot in regulation to win the game and ended up going to overtime. The free throw discrepancy, it, it really it comes down to officials. How are they going to call games with Zach Eady? Are you going to be really touchy? You're going to put them on the line 20 times? Or are you going to allow them to – some people, there's no in-between. You either let them maul them or every time they touch them, they send them to the line. So it depends on what you're getting there. Um, but we're not going to touch a side here. We're going to look at the under 145. Reason being, Wisconsin – these two teams know each other well. Last time this game, last year, this game was around the 120s. Uh, granted, offenses are a little more higher powered. AJ Store is very good for Wisconsin, but if AJ Store is not going, who is going to give you point production outside of maybe Klesmet? I don't trust Chucky Hepburn uh, to consistently score for you, and then down low, good luck with Zach Eady. So AJ Store, there's going to be emphasis on him. He's their best scorer by far. Klesmet is a flamethrower. That dude can shoot the ball. But they go cold. Uh, they're going to. They know this cannot turn into a shootout. This is going to have to be a low tempo, grind it out, take the air out of the ball, get behind the home crowd style of game. Ken Palm has Wisconsin ranked three hundred and twenty second in the nation in tempo. Purdue is one hundred and sixty second. So Purdue is definitely not a fast break run and gun team because Zach Eady will be trailing behind. But they are much faster than Wisconsin. Wisconsin wants to sit on the ball, slow it down. Uh, Crawl is dragging his feet back there. So neither team wants to move fast. Get behind the home court. Take the air out of the ball. Um, and Purdue wants to play through their big man. There's going to be a lot of rim protection in this game. Uh, it just comes down to the better shooting team is on the road. So you would think that they would have the a lesser shooting night potentially. So we're going to take the under 145 as our one play on Sunday, and we're going to try to try to make some money going into this uh, upcoming week. Y'all have a good one. Right.